Hi. Hi everyone. Shop with MM. What we're doing today is a little bit of maintenance on uh, the little pond, i.e. just clearing up and what I thought we'd do, Jack, is we made a few hides down here. We've been shooting here for so many decades with not any hides and they'd be quite nice to get two hides built sunset on little ponds over there so that's where the duck come in, in there. so I think we'll build, build two hides left where right hand side of that rough we cut down yeah and then left hand side here near that food bin so there and there then two people can shoot it only shoots two people only shoots one really but two people can shoot here on the teal and mallard and uh, what we'll do, we'll build two hides there. And I think we'll do a bit of weaving, Jack, a little bit old-fashioned work. We've put some posts in and we'll, we'll show this on the, uh, on the YouTube as well. And um, we'll see how we get on. Hopefully take the guns out this afternoon. And um, we'll see if we can get a couple of pigeons. And we'll go from there. The, that rough, we've changed, had a U-turn on that. We started burning it, didn't we, Jack, a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And now we thought, you know what, it's quite thick in there. And there's a drake mallard on here when we turned up, so maybe there could be a hen heading there on a nest. I don't know. I just think it's, it's the wrong time of year to start burning and getting rid of rough like that. It's quite good for, for nesting, so I think we'll leave that, mate, uh, till late August before we start shooting. Then we'll have a little bonfire down here. By then, the little pond will be a bit of splash in the middle there, probably, if we get another dry summer. Okay. Right, step one. We always wanted to get a hide here. The sun sets over there and ducks come in. So we're going to start putting by putting posts up here. Okay. Right, we've had to abandon ship because we had flipping. Um... Oh, it's got a flipping hawthorn in my. Oh, uh... careful, Jack. Bend over, Jack. You got ice on your back there, pal. Look. Oh, oh, Jack. He's got half a ton of ice on his back. Anyway. The hardest thing to do is keep morale up, isn't it, Jack? When it's weather like this, it's a job to keep morale up. Give us a smile, Jack. Right, now the monsoon's gone over. Um, we'll carry on with the high building. Uh, what we use is uh, little bits of uh, nut hazel. Nut hazel, you can recognise the leaves there. Use it for bean poles, don't they? The good thing about nut hazel is it's very, very flexible. Um, and so basically all you've got to do then is just do a bit of weaving in and out of the uh, thing like that. Just weave it in, out, in. the idea yeah so we're just weaving this nut hazel use if you have got some really thick ones use the thicker ones at the bottom because it's more stable when we drop the boat Is it then? That's uh, from the hides. We're going to build another one over there, and the other side of that brush. And then it's when you shoot a pond, quite safe to have two hides parallel together. Uh, otherwise, it's a bit like the uh, the firing squad if you go in a circle. Um, but any road, that's uh, that's that hide done. Always put a bit more brush up against it. Come uh, come uh, September, 
It's amazing. I mean, I used to, when I was about 14, made these like squares and put old man's beard. There's like a creeper. You can grow that round it. Used to make pigeon hides like it. You know, you get a few years out of them, and uh, you know, it, it might grow. But uh, anyway, so that's that. Uh, we're not going to probably go shooting now, but what we will do is we went shooting a couple of weeks ago, Jack, on the stunted rape mm -hmm. over the back there. I think you have got some footage of that. So what Jack will do, he'll put it on the end of this video. So uh, we'll get the boring stuff out first of all, and then we'll you can see a few uh, shots of pigeons, and uh, we will uh, get some more action videos out soon. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, again, a shout out to our subscribers, uh, you know you are, Phil, David, the rest, we do appreciate the, uh, the support, and uh, stay tuned. Right, hiya, um, again we're out on the crop protection, and it is stunted rape, stunted all seed rape, and you can see where three quarters of the field is starting to flower, and what they've done, is they've chewed it all down here, and so it's a financial fact. Jack, some pigeons there, Jack. Look at that! Wow, oh, it's got your name on it. Um, so there you go. We're gonna have a little play down here. I might go and get the word. We've got a few dead ones now, Jack, and we so, um, but yeah, so uh, we'll give it a go, see what we get. Pretty gorgeous day, about 20 odd degrees out here, which is uh, you know, it seems to have gone from winter to summer in uh, two weeks. Anyway, okay. Go on. Ooh. That's it. That weren't looking too good. Ready Jack? Yep. Right, ready and get your gun ready now. I think you hit that, didn't you? Right, keep down. Here we go. Right. Be quite honest with you, not a bad day really on this stunted rake. Um, just goes to show you that they weren't really feeding on here, it was just a flight line that was going across. They drilled some barley over the back there, and so the majority of the birds were going over to those trees at the back there. But uh, we were just fortunate, we had the decoy pattern out here, and we did curl a few off the uh, the packs of pigeon that were coming across, flocks of pigeon. So, uh, yeah, yeah, turn a few over, didn't we, Jack? Um, good. Uh, I say thanks for watching. Yeah, again, stay careful and uh, see you soon.